Have you ever wondered about the secrets hidden in the ancient ruins of Ephesus? Welcome to Ephesus, a city of grandeur and mystery, nestled within the heart of modern-day Turkey. This isn't just any city. Its intricate stone pathways, towering columns, and grand amphitheaters whisper tales of a time when it was a bustling hub of trade and religion, a beacon of civilization in an ancient world. Ephesus was more than a city. It was a testament to the prowess of the human spirit and the allure of the unknown. Its geographical location made it a coveted port city, acting as a crossroads between the east and west. This not only made Ephesus a vital trade center, but also a melting pot of diverse cultures and ideas. The city was a marvel of architectural ingenuity, with its grandeur reflecting the wealth and power it once held. From the majestic Celsus Library to the imposing Great Theater, each structure in Ephesus tells a story of its own, echoing the footsteps of the countless souls who once walked its streets. But Ephesus isn't just a relic of the past, it's a treasure trove of unsolved mysteries and unanswered questions. Who were the people who built this city? What stories did they carry in their hearts? What led to the city's eventual decline? And how did such a prosperous city fade into obscurity, only to be rediscovered centuries later? As we delve deeper into the annals of history, we'll explore the many facets of Ephesus's past. We'll seek to understand the cultural and religious significance of this city, the rise and fall of its power, and the legacy it left behind. There's a profound magic in tracing the contours of history, in touching the same stones that were once touched by ancient hands, and in listening to the silent stories that echo through the ruins of Ephesus. Every corner of this city holds a piece of the puzzle, waiting to be discovered, waiting to reveal its story to those who seek it. Prepare to journey back in time, as we unravel the rich tapestry of Ephesus's remarkable history. Ephesus was not built in a day. Its rise to grandeur spans centuries of Greek and Roman rule. Imagine a city coming into existence around the 10th century BC, a city born out of the collective will and vision of Greek colonists. This city, Ephesus, was nestled in the heart of Ionia, on the western coast of modern-day Turkey. It was a city that was destined to become one of the most influential centers of the ancient world. In its early days, Ephesus was a bustling hub of culture and commerce, bolstered by its strategic location along major trade routes. The city's prosperity attracted the attention of the Persians, who, around the mid-6th century BC, brought Ephesus under their control. Yet, the tides of power were continually shifting. By the late 4th century BC, the Persians were ousted, and Ephesus was absorbed into the burgeoning Roman Empire. This transition marked a turning point in the city's history. Under Roman rule, Ephesus experienced a surge of architectural development that would solidify its place as a metropolis of grandeur. Among the many architectural marvels that emerged during this time were the Library of Celsus, an imposing edifice dedicated to the Roman senator Tiberius Julius Celsus Polymianus and the Temple of Artemis, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. These structures, along with many others, bore testament to the city's prosperity and prestige. The Roman period was a time of remarkable transformation for Ephesus. The cityscape was continually evolving, reflecting the dynamic nature of the empire itself. Grand amphitheaters, marble-paved streets, and ornate public buildings rose from the ground, each new addition adding to the city's splendor. Yet, even amidst this flurry of construction and growth, Ephesus was not immune to the forces of change. The city, like the empire it was a part of, was in constant flux, shaped and reshaped by the ebb and flow of power. Ephesus was a city in constant flux, its landscape continually shaped by the ebb and flow of empires. Ephesus was more than just a bustling metropolis, it was a hub of cultural and religious activity. A crossroads of ideas and beliefs, Ephesus was a city that thrived on the vigor of its cultural life. Its renowned theater, capable of accommodating an audience of 25,000, was a testament to the city's passion for the performing arts. Here, melodies of music reverberated and the words of famous orators and philosophers echoed, invigorating the intellectual pulse of the city. Ephesus was also a city that loved a good debate. Philosophers, poets, and scholars would gather in its marble halls, engaging in spirited discussions that ranged from the nuances of epic poetry to the nature of the cosmos. This vibrant intellectual atmosphere was a magnet for the brightest minds of the era, transforming Ephesus into a beacon of intellectual pursuits. But the cultural richness of Ephesus was not limited to the arts and academia. The city held a profound religious significance, 
deeply intertwined with its identity. The Temple of Artemis, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, stood majestically in Ephesus. This grand edifice was a tribute to Artemis, the goddess of the hunt, wilderness, and moon in Greek mythology. Devotees would flock from far and wide to pay homage, reinforcing Ephesus's status as a sacred center of worship. As time passed, the religious landscape of Ephesus evolved. The city played a pivotal role in the early days of Christianity. It was here that St. Paul, one of Christianity's most influential figures, preached and wrote his famous letter to the Ephesians. The presence of the Virgin Mary's house, widely believed to be the final residence of Jesus' mother, further cements Ephesus's place in Christian history. In its heyday, Ephesus was a vibrant tapestry of different cultures and faiths, a testament to the city's global influence. Indeed, the cultural and religious significance of Ephesus continues to resonate, underscoring the timeless allure of this ancient city. Like all great empires, Ephesus too had its sunset, but its rediscovery brought a new dawn. As the centuries rolled on, Ephesus began to face numerous challenges that led to its gradual decline. One of the major factors was the silting of its harbor. This once bustling port, which had been a lifeline for the city's trade and commerce, slowly began to fill with sediment and silt carried by the river Caister. Over time, the harbor became unusable, cutting Ephesus off from the vital maritime trade routes that had once made it prosperous. But the silting of the harbor was just the beginning. Ephesus was further plagued by invasions from various forces over the centuries. These invasions brought destruction, instability, and economic hardship to the city. The once magnificent city, that had been a beacon of Greek and Roman civilization, began to crumble under the weight of these relentless onslaughts. As if these troubles were not enough, Ephesus also had to contend with the devastating effects of earthquakes. The city was struck by several major earthquakes, the most damaging of which occurred in the 4th century, causing significant destruction to the city's infrastructure. Overwhelmed by these adversities, Ephesus was eventually abandoned, left to be swallowed by the sands of time. For centuries, it lay forgotten, its grandeur and glory reduced to mere whispers in the annals of history. However, the story of Ephesus does not end with its decline. In the 19th century, the city was rediscovered by archaeologists. This marked a new dawn for Ephesus. With painstaking care and precision, the archaeologists began to excavate and restore the city. With each passing day, the secrets of Ephesus began to emerge from the earth, offering tantalizing glimpses into a world long past. Today, the ruins of Ephesus stand as a testament to the city's former glory and the resilience of its people. The ancient streets echo with the whispers of history, telling tales of a time when Ephesus was a vibrant metropolis at the heart of the ancient world. Though Ephesus fell into ruin, its rediscovery has allowed us to glimpse into a world long past. Ephesus may be a city of the past, but its legacy continues to resonate in the present. In the contemporary world, the significance of Ephesus is undiminished. A testament to the grandeur of ancient civilizations, this city holds a mirror to our past, offering a tangible link to the stories that have shaped us. This timeless city, with its well-preserved ruins and monumental architecture, now enjoys the prestigious status of a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This recognition not only highlights the city's historical and cultural importance, but also the critical role it plays in promoting the understanding of historical and archaeological narratives. Ephesus, with its vast and varied history, serves as an open-air museum, a living classroom for historians, archaeologists, and curious minds alike. It provides an unparalleled opportunity to delve into the depths of ancient Greek and Roman civilizations, revealing insights into their social, political, and religious structures. Its well-preserved monuments, like the Library of Celsus or the Great Theater, offer a window into the architectural prowess of our ancestors, inspiring a sense of awe and respect for their accomplishments. But the reach of Ephesus extends beyond the confines of history and archaeology. The city, with its rich tapestry of stories, has left an indelible imprint on art, literature, and popular culture. It continues to inspire writers, artists, and filmmakers, serving as a backdrop for narratives that span genres and mediums. The city's fascinating history and its iconic monuments have found their way into paintings, novels, movies, and even video games, inviting audiences to traverse time and experience the allure of the ancient world. Furthermore, Ephesus is more than just a tourist destination. It's a symbol of cultural preservation, 
and a testament to humanity's relentless quest for knowledge. It's a vivid reminder of our collective past, fostering a greater appreciation for our shared heritage and the civilizations that have paved the way for our present. Ephesus serves as a powerful reminder of our shared human history, a testament to the enduring power of civilization.